Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad Resales. I'm Natalie. And I'm Will. And in today's video, we're going on another thriftcation. So we're going to be driving up to Columbia, going to be stopping at some Goodwills along the way. So let's go! Get wheel! Alright, we're at our first stop here. get this for myself brand new with tags hats here should be a dollar this is no fear this should be a pickup or maybe it's not promotional adventures that is the no fear eyes though All right, we got a little bread and butter find here, a pair of Nike golf pants. These should get you around 20 to $25 plus shipping, few dollars more if they have a pattern such as plaid. But one thing that you have to check, especially when it comes to golf pants, a lot of them are hemmed. These are not hemmed, which is great, but if they are hemmed, you have to disclose that in the listing. And also the inseam would not match the size tag. That's just something to keep in mind. And right next to it was this pair of Marmot waterproof rain pants. We're very picky when it comes to the brand Marmot because although it's a good quality brand, the resale value is not that great for a lot of their items. But these rain pants are actually a solid pickup. Should get around 25 to $30 plus shipping. But, duh, duh, duh. With rainproof items such as the pants or jacket, always check the inside to make sure that it's not peeling. The insides of these pants, as you can see, is kind of wrecked, so I put these back. Just had a solid find. We have another Bolo brand for you guys. This one we should all know about. It's the one and only Lululemon. Always be on the lookout for this little logo right here. Now Lululemon has a very minimalistic style, so a lot of their items don't really stand out in terms of pattern and colors and stuff like that. So unless you actually see their logo, you might not know you're looking at a Lululemon pair of leggings. Now, one thing you should always check with leggings is the crotch. You don't want to pick up leggings that are stained up in this area or pilling. And in case you didn't know, all Lululemon items have a size dot. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it's a little bit hard to find these size dots, but normally they are inside some kind of pocket. Slightly down from the Lululemon, we got Booya. Trying to hide from me again. I found you this time. Allo leggings or joggers. They got cuffed bottoms. Super stretchy. I love the seams on this one. Size large. These are so cool. Very easy to miss since they're they're so plain. Like there's nothing really standing out amongst all the other ones. But I spotted the little logo on the leg here. literally felt the fabric and felt oh this is nice i don't see any logo i look inside you guessed it the long lululemon tag lululemon size eight and then i just look at them like wow those are cool logo here got this seamless bottom here they feel and look brand new lululemon what's going on whoa super cute and with Lululemon, I always Google photo them because for some reason I always find the exact model name when I do that because I don't know the model name with Lululemon but every Lululemon leggings have a model name and you definitely want to use that in your listing. So two solid finds here from what it looks like. Found a pair of 
XL Jordan like sweatpants. It's got the nice hit here. Big size, cool colorway. I look up and see these shoes with the yellow stitching. That can only mean one thing. These are Doc Martens. Huge bolo brand to be on the lookout for with their boots. Never found something like this. I haven't looked up comps yet. There is some wear on the inside there near the heel. If I could get 40 to 50 on these, the exterior still looks perfect. I'd be happy. Shoes here are $6.99, should be. Well, that's at our Goodwill. And the bottom soles look perfect. Let's go. Nat, some Doc Martens. Wow. Our first pair. Wow, goodbye. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Haven't seen this guy in a while. William Murray, the golfer? Oh, Murray. Oh, Murray. Oh, no. It's peeling a little bit here. That's nice though, I gotta look this one up. I've only found a new one, which sold within days, I think. It's a nice polo. Oh, foot joy, bread and butter. I'll take it. 20 plus ship. Check these out. Caught my eye. I don't know what the heck they were. Walk on reaction. And it's essentially a foot brace by Otto Buck. These single braces go for $60 to $100. What? We have two. And then the <laughs> shoes, I'm assuming, are just included because they do just pop right out. Oh. Tells you everything. They make like prosthetic legs and all that stuff. So this could be sixty to ninety dollars for one, and then for two, I'm assuming we're just gonna pay for one pair of shoes to get these because there's no special price on anything. So six ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> Trips off to a good start. Wow. I picked these up from the new rack. It's a pair of Miss Me jeans, which we tend to avoid because the sell through it isn't that great on eBay overall for the Miss Me jeans. However, I narrowed it down to angel pocket jeans. I mean, I saw this and I'm like, wow, well, that's nice. Because with Miss Me jeans, you don't want the plain ones. You want the more, the merrier. Love the details, the buttons. So this will be our first Miss Me jeans that we try because of this. And they did seem to sell for higher on Poshmark. Looking at the shoes, this is crazy. Basic Nike Air Forces. They are kind of clean, I will say that. $100. Hi, how are you? Oh my goodness, that is insane. All right, we got a bolo brand that you guys should know. It's cool. These are some women's shorts. And how I know it's women's, it says 14 rather than like 32, 30, 28, something like that. These guys are an easy flip. Should get 20, 25 plus shipping. Bank. All right, come on now. Seems like we did pretty good in there. Very good first up. I'm a little... I can barely hear because the music was so loud. <laughs> you sound a little tone deaf right now. Oh my god. Nice first stop Good for stop. the trip. All right, guys, that sums up today's thrifting trip. Actually, not even today's. That sums up the first tour of our road trip to Colombia. We hit it off. Couldn't be happier. Just sends good vibes, and we're ready to go to the next store. Yes. So we'll see you guys on the next one.